Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning. This is uh, Marcus Solar at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. I want to thank you all for taking some time uh, to join us uh, this morning. Uh, I'm on the webinar this morning with Nassau Reedy and uh, Jake uh, Quigley-Aroli. I want to thank Jake for taking some time to join us this morning and sharing the uh, NASA RE portfolio with us. Uh, I will be covering some uh, additional benefits of uh, insurance agency marketing with you this morning. Uh, as we all know, uh, you might have clients come in the office or phone calls ring uh, in your back office. If you do get pulled away from this webinar, I will have a recorded uh, version of this at the end. I will be more than happy to get that out to you after the uh, broadcast comes to an end. Uh, just email me or give me a call and I will certainly get that out to you. We will be covering a plethora of information on the webinar this morning. I will go through our value adds quickly up front here, uh, as we always do, just as a quick reminder. And as we get into the meat of the webinar, uh, please ask questions as we go through, as we will be covering a, a ton of information on some quality products. Uh, that we hope uh, that you see value and uh, would like to bring to your clients. Um, and I would be more than happy to run some quotes for you here at the end. So please think of some client situations that these uh, solutions might be a good fit as we go through. Uh, so again, any questions, please fill them out in the question box below. But we do have a lot of information. Again, Jake, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, thank you for taking the time out to join us. Let's go ahead and get started this morning. IMS does have the uh, business builders uh, that we have to increase your capital. We do have several different programs, including our marketing reimbursement and our referral producer program. These are programs that we do reinvest into your practice. Uh, you can use these dollars for either uh, offsetting additional expenses within your practice for referrals coming uh, to insurance agency marketing or offsetting uh, marketing expenditures. Our marketing reimbursement program is tied back to your fixed index annuity production or your single premium life. For every 100000 in premium, we put $100 back into your marketing uh, budget that you can use to offset those additional expenses. We do have our new producer bonus program. This is good for the first six months you are on uh, board with insurance agency marketing. It is a way for us to say welcome aboard. Thank you, and we look forward to a long and strong relationship or partnership. Uh, we do have three separate levels based on uh, production, again, on the uh, fixed index annuity or the single premium life production, either 100,000, 300,000, or 500,000. You can choose anything from either $750 in uh, cash bonus or two-year producer website, all the way to either uh, seminar coaching by two of our top producers, either Dave Pimper or Matt Gill or all the way to a Rich Carlton travel package, whichever you prefer. Again, once you pick one of these items, this program does shut off. But again, it is a way for us to say thank you and welcome aboard. We do have some of the best office support in the uh, business, saving you time and money, letting you do what you do best. We try to take the, uh, uh, what we call the $10 an hour uh, job off the table so that you can stay in front of prospects and clients alike. Uh, uh, working with them, uh, what we do is try to uh, do the case design uh, behind the, uh, the office for you, uh, life and annuity quotes, work with you on top sales expertise coaching. We do have paperless contracting, which saves you time and money as well. We do have a, one of the best creative marketing solution teams in the uh, industry. Jacob does run this area. Uh, Sean is part of that marketing team and Aaron as well. Uh, no matter where you are in your business, whether you are just starting to get into the industry or you've been in the industry for 20 years, we will match you where you are and help you achieve that next level. So if you are just getting into the industry, you need help with stationary advertising, a logo, we can help you with that, get you into the, the business. Or if you've been in the business for 20 years, you're into advertising, radio, TV, we can help you with uh, those types of uh, media as well, or, or social media, if you're in that avenue or direction at the same time. Please contact them directly. You can reach them here at the office at 
255-5055. We do have the insurance agency marketing website. This is available to you 24-7, uh, whether you're on the road or if uh, our office is closed or after business hours. We do have current annuity news out there, annuity grids, uh, forms online. It's always accessible to you. Uh, so if you uh, need it in a pinch uh, for that uh, uh, quote or rates, uh, it is available for you 24-7. We do also offer to our advisors a retirement analyzer. This is retirement income planning software. It is to help you uh, help your clients forecast their financial uh, future in the what if scenario. What if uh, one of uh, your clients passes away early? What effect would that have on their um, retirement picture? What if uh, one of the kids uh, gets married? What would that have uh, on their retirement picture? Or what if they want to retire in their 40s? Could they do that? Uh, this helps you help them answer all those questions. It is something that we do offer to our advisors that are currently contracted through us with their core carriers uh, and writing uh, 250000 in either the fixed index annuity business or single premium life business. We pick up the cost for that software uh, and help you administrate it uh, on an annual basis. We do also have Ims Wealth Management. This is run by Charles Hearing Jr., uh, Mike and Joan. Uh, it helps you earn more revenue, uh, become more marketable as a referral, as a full service advisor, handle more of your client's portfolios, stop passing up those assets, increase your retention by limiting the client's exposure to other financial professionals. Uh, our program is meant to complement your existing annuity business and not overhaul it. And our uh, advisors are known as great asset gatherers and manage those relationships uh, and let us handle the rest. So if you have questions on Ims Wealth Management, please uh, give Charles, Mike, or Joan a call here at the office at 1-800-255-5055. They would be more than happy to answer any questions and uh, help you uh, get started uh, with that side of the business. We do have our industry recognized life and annuity academy. We are gonna be uh, hosting our next one in the first quarter of 2020. Uh, it is a two day training event. We bring in four of our top multi-million dollar producers. Not only do they share what they do on a prospecting standpoint uh, to keep their pipeline full of uh, prospects, uh, but they also share with you their entire uh, sales process from start to finish. Uh, we go through industry trends on both the annuity and life side. We go through large annuity and life uh, case design and marketing concepts, wealth transfer tools, uh, industry best uh, income writers. There really is not a topic that is not unturned or talked about at these events. You get face-to-face -face time with those top producers. There is no cost to the producer. We uh, here at Insurance Agency Marketing, pick up the dime for this training. Uh, if you are interested in being considered for our next event uh, and the dates and times, please give us a call at the number listed below, 800-255-5055. Talk to any of the marketers here. We will be more than happy to discuss uh, all the details on our up and coming event. We do have uh, and just announced our next uh, marketing summit. It uh, is going to be co-sponsored with Athene in 2020. Uh, the invitational period is going to be July 1 through uh, 2019 through June 30th of 2020. And it's going to be down in uh, Los Cobos, um, Mexico. Uh, so please give us a call for all the details around that. It's going to be an awesome uh, event. Again, you can give us a call at 1-800-255-5055 for all the details uh, for that event that's gonna be co-sponsored with Athene. So what I'm gonna do at this point in time is I'm gonna turn it over to Jake uh, so we can start covering all the uh, portfolio through NASA RE, our new partnership with them. We are super excited about uh, being able to offer uh, the top income annuity uh, in the marketplace and talk a little bit further about their brand new growth annuity as well. 
Uh, so, um, Jake, I'm going to switch it over to you, and uh, we do, certainly do appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Awesome, Marcus. Well, I appreciate the intro. Uh, appreciate the uh, the opportunity to be on the call today. So, um, as we're waiting to get the screen flipped over here, um, hopefully everybody can see it pulling up right now. But uh, uh, again, want to want to echo some of Marcus's uh, Marcus's points. Ex extremely excited about this opportunity with insurance agency marketing. This is a newer relationship, uh, a newer partnership together. Uh, but something where we sort of sought out each other based on all of the things that are happening right now at NASA, the growth that we're looking to, you know, we're looking to build through the remainder of this year going forward, and the strength and partnership with insurance agency marketing. So excited to be able to roll out not only a new product, but enhancements to a current product. And I think it comes at a great time. If you saw the beginning of that presentation with Marcus, a lot of new agent opportunities, production in your first six months. And again, what you're going to see as I talk through our portfolio and some of the areas where we are competitively ahead of the curve, I think a real good opportunity to hit the ground running, not only with, with NASA, but also with insurance agency marketing. So let's get things, uh, let's get things rolling. And before we get into the presentation, if, if you've seen me present, I, I like to take the first two or three slides and just quickly do an industry overview, just sort of remind us of the opportunity that we have in front of us. And when you think about retirement planning, when you look at the, the history over time, the six most important years of retirement planning are the three years immediately pre-retirement and the three years immediately post-retirement. And what we need to do is try to ensure our client from the unexpected. And we all know that we can't control what the market does. But what we can do is work with our clients or work with prospects to reposition assets to ensure that we're minimizing fees and we're minimizing risk because what we're trying to do, if, if you look at what the S&P 500 has done, here you see the last three months and really focus in on the second half of that chart. We all know over the last couple of weeks, we're seeing extreme volatility, major dips on a daily, on daily basis that are impacting potential clients who are in that six year window. And can you imagine what type of impact a three, four, 5% loss or swing has on one of those individuals who's also pulling out three, four, five percent of their assets to help supplement their income. And so again, why now is the perfect opportunity to be talking about index annuities? Because we can minimize volatility, we can minimize risk, and we can provide a product that at the end of the day allows us to insure our clients from the unexpected. And that's an index annuity. The annual probability of a market loss is 28%, and I'm gonna argue that that number's even higher today, or we're on the higher end of that range, because again of the volatility in the market cycle that we're in, the end of a, a sort of a 10, 11 year bull market run. And again, we've got the products and the opportunities to reposition a client's assets, to maximize the lifestyle they wanna live throughout their retirement days. So let's transition and let's start talking about, again, because of our partnership together, the opportunity that you have with the NASA portfolio. And what you're gonna see, we're gonna really highlight two of the top selling products or, or one of the top selling products inside of our portfolio and the newest product that's been out for about a week and a half. But what you're gonna see in the design of these products that we talk about is what we've tried to do is give you a four corner offense, a four corner attack based on the concerns or needs that your client that you're working with, prospect that you're working with has. First and foremost, if you have an income need, that client is looking to get the maximum amount of income or there, there's a shortfall between their pension and social security and covering their essential income needs, medical, food, housing. What you're gonna see with recent enhancements to our portfolio is the top guaranteed lifetime income product in the marketplace today with personal income annuity. Personal protection choice, a second product in our portfolio that does offer a very competitive income. But on top of that, maybe that client has legacy concerns. So they wanna create a death benefit, but they don't have the assets or maybe the health to qualify for those types of products. Well, that's where the personal protection choice enters in. With our family protection rider, you've got an enhanced death benefit on the contract. Long-term care, critical care type coverage. But again, maybe that client doesn't have the assets or the health to qualify for products like that, knowing that they also need a supplemental income stream. Well, again, enter personal protection choice, a product that's gonna enhance your client's income by up to 250% if they were to go into a nursing home by up to 175% if they needed in-home care. And they're gonna get that benefit even if the account value depletes to zero. 
But the newest product, one of the products that you responded to on this webinar that we're, we're going to spend a majority of the presentation talking about today, is a product that really fits a hole that, that the NASA portfolio had, and that was accumulation or growth. Enter the NASA growth annuity, which, which went live August 12th, and within the next couple of days, we are going to see the expansion of this product across a majority of, of states from an availability standpoint. But what you're going to see a product that over the last 10 years has some strategies that's illustrated at over 12% annual return per year. So very, very competitive, very, very aggressive growth strategies and concepts and designs that are based off of the S&P 500. So strategies that we know have a tried and true sort of track record and a better concept or a better idea of working with because clients have knowledge. You have knowledge of these strategies. But before we get into the NASA growth annuity, I want to take again three or four slides and talk about the flagship product inside of our portfolio, the NASA personal income annuity product. Just like the name of this product says, this product was designed to provide the highest level of guaranteed lifetime income for your client. Put another way, it's using the least amount of their assets to get them the fixed income number they believe they need to cover those essential income needs throughout their retirement days. How does this product work? How are we able to be so competitive in this space? We do it by giving you and your client the opportunity to elect between two different income riders at issue, our income today or our income tomorrow. And what's gonna determine which rider you elect is really based on the time horizon of, of your client and when they're anticipating transitioning from that accumulation to the distribution phase. If that client plans to start taking income from this account, from these assets, within the first two to three years after issue, that's where you're gonna elect the income today rider. What this rider does is it gives your client an immediate 30% bonus to their benefit base. So if they had a $100,000 premium, their benefit base is immediately $130,000. With this product, they have the ability to start taking income as soon as 30 days after issue. And if they were to do that, that income amount would be based off of that $130,000. But if that client doesn't take income within the first 12 months, at the end of the first contract anniversary, NASA is going to add another 7.5% bonus to the benefit base. And then at the end of the 24th month, their second contract anniversary, if that client still has not turned on that guaranteed lifetime income stream, we had another 7.5% bonus, getting them that full 45% benefit base bonus within the first 24 months after issue. Maybe the client's time horizon is a little bit longer, so they're not looking to take income except till three, four, five, seven, eight, nine years down the road. That's where you're going to elect the income tomorrow strategy. And what we do here is we grow your client's benefit base at a guaranteed 14% simple per year for up to 10 years or until your client elects to turn on that guaranteed lifetime income stream. So again, $100,000 premium. At the end of the first anniversary, the end of the 12th month, client has not turned on their income. You've got a benefit base of $114,000. At the end of the second anniversary, $128,000. Again, so on and so forth through the 10th year or until they turn, elect to turn on income. The other great thing that you have on top of these industry-leading benefit-based bonuses and roll-ups is flexibility. The flexibility to turn income on as soon as 30 days after issue with the guaranteed lifetime income rider. But you're also able to get up to 10% out with a penalty-free withdrawal as soon as 30 days after issue. So income two different ways within the first month after product issue. Now, as we highlighted up front, one of the things that we announced last month, or excuse me, last Tuesday, September 3rd, were enhancements to the personal income annuity. If you were familiar with this product or selling this product in the past, you would have noticed that NASA was extremely competitive, number one, really across the board within the first, for somebody taking income the first two or so years after issue. What we did last Tuesday is increase the payout factors anywhere from on average three to 5%. And what that does is you can see first and foremost, the increase from an income perspective, 65 year old client, five year deferral, we increased their income over $400 from $8,600 to over, over $9,000. And you can see some of the other increases based on some key ages. But what this has done is it's really expanded our footprint. And if you look at competitively, on the left side of the screen, you see income today, income tomorrow. And you can see where our numbers, numbers fall on the overall spreadsheet. 
But on the right-hand side of the screen, what you see is where our footprint is and what our, where our ranking is. And really within the first six years, you're seeing the Nassau personal income annuity own that market space. So we're showing up number one and in certain scenarios, substantially higher than the next closest competitor. And once you go beyond that sixth year, so year seven through 10, you're seeing Nassau fall in, in generally in the top three. So some areas we're gonna be number one, some number two, some number three. And what that means for you and your client is the ability to know you're providing a product that's gonna be number one in, in more sales than any other product out there today. So again, that gives you flexibility and that gives your client peace of mind. Hey, maybe we sat down and I thought, based on our conversation, that I was gonna take income four years after issue. Well, hey, that one cell, we ran a competitive analysis and Nassau came up number one. But what happens four years from today, you go back to that client and their situation has changed. And now they're not thinking they need income until year six. Hey, maybe most some other products, they were competitive in that one spot, but they really dropped off. What you're seeing with our product, again, because of these increases, is we're competitively within the top three for the really the first 10 years of, of, of deferral. Very, very competitive, and that's the strength that you have with the Nassau personal income annuity. What I want to spend the rest of the presentation on, what you really responded to, and, and what insurance agency marketing and I had been talking about rolling out today, was the newest product in our portfolio. That's the Nassau growth annuity. This is a product that's not available to every organization out there today. So again, because of your partnership, because of the value that insurance agency marketing brings with you, we thought this was a great partnership and a great opportunity to roll out this Nassau growth annuity. Now, I've been in this industry for over 20 years, and I have not seen a product rollout that's gotten the type of, of traction, that's gotten the type of activity than what we're seeing with the Nassau growth annuity. And a lot of that is because of the illustrative accumulation opportunity that you have with this product. But quickly, from a structural standpoint, take a look at the design. You see this product issue age up through age 80, up to a million dollars without prior home office approval. On top of the accumulation strategy, you also have, we have our amplified income rider. So an optional rider that, that based on the client situation, you can attach, which is going to give them a, an income rider, an annual lifetime income based on performance. And we'll break that down in another couple slides. But I want to let you know with this, with this strategy, it's only available on the 10-year product duration of the Nassau growth annuity. So again, an optional rider to provide lifetime income for your client. Other features, what we're going to spend a lot of the presentation talking about, though, is the indexing strategies. And you're going to see we have seven different indexing accounts plus a fixed bucket. But again, the design of the index products, what we're trying to do with this product is get back to the basics. And you're going to see these seven strategies are all based off of the S&P 500. So we want to make it, again, get it back to the basics, keep it simple for you and your client to talk through. We already talked about the 10-year product duration. With that product, you've got up to 5% penalty-free withdrawal. Uh, again, it's available as soon as 30 days after issue. We also have a seven-year product that gives you 10% liquidity as soon as 30 days after issue. The other built-in feature that you have with the Nassau Growth Annuity is what we're calling a return of premium feature, a return of fee. And this is a peace of mind, again, for you and your client to really shoot for the maximum accumulation opportunity. Because you see, as we talk through this product, there's going to be the opportunity to have strategies, to have uh, ideas or concepts or riders that apply a fee. But you know, worst case scenario, let's say the indexes don't perform and the fee ends up eating away at some of the premium. At death or at full contract duration, so through the seven years or 10 years, if that product hasn't performed, we're gonna return those fees and make that client whole in those situations. But let's break down the product in a little bit more detail. I already mentioned August 12th, we went, we sort of had our soft launch date and we released in 18 states, which you see on the screen in front of you. And what I wanna say, if you don't see your state on that screen, stay on board with us today because it's actually, as, as I talk to my product approval team, we're minutes to days away to having about 85 to 90% state approval. I still believe we'll get that sign off this week. If not, it'll, it'll be the first couple days of next week. And that's gonna, again, expand our footprint and give you the opportunity to talk about and market the best accumulation product out there that's illustrating today. In addition to that, again, you, we have our, our product training. You're able to get that regardless of state approval out on our website at, at salesnet.nsre.com. 
So again, excited to be able to really roll this thing out in the next day or so to uh, many additional states on top of those 18. But let's get into the meat of this product. We mentioned up front there are seven different accumulation strategies based off of indexing. As a one-year point-to-point -point strategy based off of the S&P 500. We have a one- and two-year point-to-point participation rate-based strategy, as well as a two-year S&P 500 point-to-point -point strategy. The other index that we've got inside of this product, it is a managed index. It's what we're calling our Smart Passage Index, monitored by a company called SockGen. Although this is a managed index, again, let's think of the philosophy of this product. What we're doing is trying to keep it simple. And so despite the fact that this is still a managed index, it is based off of the S&P 500. And what we're doing inside of this Smart Passage Index is we're grabbing the 200 least volatile stocks inside of the S&P 500. And why are we doing that? Because we're trying to take advantage of the low volatility anomaly. And what that, what that is, is if you look over time, low volatility stocks more often than not outperform high volatility stocks. And so by focusing on the S&P 500 and grabbing the 200 least volatile stocks, we're really going all in on the, that low volatility idea. And the other great thing, the other differentiator that you have with this strategy, first and foremost, is once we capture those 200 stocks, we have an inverse weighting, which means more assets are allocated to the least volatile of those 200 stocks. So again, it's going all in on that low volatility idea. On top of that, we juiced up the volatility target. And you can see with this strategy, the Smart Passage strategy, our volatility target is 16.5%. It's one of, I think, the top two volatility targets in the marketplace today. And for those of you that, that don't really have a, a, a true understanding of what, what a volatility target is, what it means is once volatility hits that target, you're going to see assets move to more safe vehicles, fixed income, those types of things. So if you've got a product with 5 6 7% volatility target, and you look at what our economy, what our, what our, what our markets are doing today, Chances are assets are spending a high percentage of the time in fixed income vehicles. With a 16.5% volatility target, what that means is your client's assets are spending more time inside of the markets, giving them a higher upside or a higher opportunity to experience growth and credit. And two strengths of that. Again, we know first and foremost we're inside of an indexed annuity, so we have that principal protection. We have those baseline guarantees. On top of that, with this Smart Passage Index, again, no, we're targeting the least volatile 200 stocks inside of the S&P 500. Now, let's look illustratively. Let's look at the sizzle, why this product, to me, is getting the most noise of any product launch that I've seen in the industry. You can see one-year S&P 500 cap rate on our 10-year product currently sits at 5.25%. Our one-year S&P par rate sits at 45%, no cap, no spread. Two-year S&P point-to-point strategy, par rate sits at 61%. Again, no cap, no spread. And our two-year Smart Passage Index, you can see no cap, no spread, 110% participation rate. Very, very strong crediting rates on this, on this NASA growth annuity product. But the other great thing that we have with this product is the client has the opportunity for a 1% annual fee to purchase enhanced participation rates. And so what we're doing is we're taking that 1% fee and we're putting it back into the product. We're putting it into the option budget. And you can see what that does is it bumps that one-year par rate on the S&P 500 up to 61%. It bumps the two-year S&P par rate up to 83%. And it bumps that smart passage strategy participation rate up to 150%. So very, very strong accumulation opportunities you've got with the NASA growth annuity. And look from an illustrative standpoint how that translates. You can see NASA growth annuity here. We've got the two-year S&P 500 without fee. So we've got that 61% par rate. Ten years ago, $100,000 into this strategy, that $100,000 would have grown at almost 7% per year to over $192,500 in accumulation. What if we enhance that S&P par rate? So we bought, we, we bought with that enhanced fee up to 83% participation rate. You can see that same $100,000 would have grown to over $218,000 or over an 8% average annual return over the last 10 years. 
very, very strong accumulation opportunity, again, based off of the S&P 500. And one of the things we did internally is we wanted to see how this strategy with the rates that we had, how is it performing across the industry? And what you see on the screen in front of you is we went back over the last 70 years and we started an index crediting cycle each and every day for the last 70 years. And we applied all S&P strategy par rates with our current competition. And when we picked the worst 10 year and the best 10 year, which also happened to be the most recent 10 year, what you see is the Nassau growth annuity came out number one in both of those areas. So it's performing in an up market, but it's also performing when the markets aren't at their best. And that's a strength of this product that can really help your client maximize their growth with the product. But let's take a look at this smart passage index. Here you see we've got the, two, again, two-year strategy. We enhance that participation rate up to 150%. And take a look over the last 10 years, $100,000 would have grown to over $311,000, or over 12% average annual return. And the great thing about this strategy, we talked about it being a managed index, but we talked about it with a focus in the S&P 500. But what I like about it over other managed index is there's a real philosophy to this idea. What we're doing, there's a track record to this. We're again pulling the 200 least volatile stocks in the S&P 500. It's not cherry picking funds or stocks that, have, that performed well over the last 10 years and jamming them inside of a crediting strategy. It's following a philosophy that can really be tracked back for years and years and years. And what you're seeing is it performed extremely well from an accumulation standpoint. So we talked through some of the strategies, the two-year S&P strategies with without fee. We talked that two-year smart passage with fee. What you see on the screen in front of you, what Marcus mentioned up front, is the ability to run customized illustrations. And we can do that for all of the crediting strategies. And that's what you see on the screen in front of you, is how those assets would have performed over the last 10 years. Again, very, very strong from an accumulation standpoint. But as we, as we sort of wrap up the accumulation strategy side of this product, what I love about this product, and the same thing that I love about our portfolio, is you can customize this product to how you like to sell. You can customize this product based on your, your client's preference to products. If you like selling with that enhanced fee, knowing that you've got that return of fee or return of premium, you've got the ability to offer with strategy fees, with enhanced participation rates to really shoot for maximum accumulation. But if you and your client want to avoid all fees, minimize fees, minimize risk, you can also structure this product to have no fee. We just allocate all of the premium inside of the strategies without those, without those fee options. Maybe you like managed index accounts. Well, again, we've got that with the smart passage. But if you don't, we still have five strategies based purely off of the S&P 500. And then a couple different product durations, seven and 10 years, to really meet the needs of your client. But last but not least, when we look at the NASA growth annuity, the last part of this product is our Amplified Income Plus Rider. And this is something that, again, can be attached to the 10-year product only. But again, it's, it's voluntary, not mandatory. So if the client's not looking for income, they're just looking for max accumulation, we leave this, this, this Amplified Income Rider off. If they're looking to maximize that income potential, that's where we add this in. And what this rider does is it guarantees your, your client's benefit base is going to grow at 3% simple per year for up to 15 years or until that client elects to turn on that, gear, that income rider. In addition to that 3% simple roll-up, we're going to add 150% of index credits for that year. So let's take a quick example, $100,000 premium. Let's say our, our, the account value based on the indexing strategies grew 10%. So our account value after one year sits at $110,000. In that same scenario, our benefit base would have grown to $118,000 because you've got that 3% guaranteed roll up or $3,000 off of $100,000 plus 150% of that $10,000 growth or $15,000. So again, that $100,000 benefit base has grown to $118,000 after one year. Then, if the client were to turn on income, we basically look at their age, we know what that payout factor is, we multiply that factor to get that income stream. And this is something new to our portfolio, rolling out these ABA factors so, again, you can better get, give your client a better idea of where their income sits. But let's look from an income standpoint how this product performs with that amplified income rider. 
Again, here we've got the two-year S&P 500. We have that enhanced par rate, so 83%, plus that 150% enhancement with the amplified income rider. You can see $100,000 10 years ago. Our benefit base today would be just short of $300,000, which would translate to over to $17,000 in annual income for your client. On the left-hand side of the screen, you see worst-case scenario. So that's just our 3% roll-up growing per year, and that would provide still a very competitive, from a guaranteed side of things, over $7,400 in income. Now, in reality, we all know we'll probably fall somewhere in between, but because of this amplified income, because of the strength of the par rates, obviously expectation is we're going to be closer to the right side than the left, but you got both scenarios there. Let's look at the Smart Passage Index. Here again, amplified income, or excuse me, ampl amplified par rate, so 150%. Plus, we attach that amplified income, 150% of index credits. And you can see over the last 10 years, $100,000 inside of this, this strategy would have grown to over almost $438,000 from a benefit-based perspective, which would translate to almost $25,000 in annual income for your client. So again, this is why I believe this is a great complementary product to the personal income annuity product. Maybe again, that client had a shortfall of income for their essential income needs in retirement, housing, medical, food. Let's drop a portion of their assets into the personal income annuity. Let's cover that essential income need. And then let's drop assets inside of the NASA growth annuity and really shoot for the highest level of income that your client can experience inside of this product. Keeping with the theme, take a look at this strategy. This is just comparing S&P strategies. And you can see a couple different durations, 55, 60, 65, 70-year-old client, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10-year deferrals. Take a look at how our, our product with this amplified income is performing across the industry. Number one in, in just about every single field that you see on the screen in front of you. And not only number one, but number one by a substantial amount. That's the strength of this NASA growth annuity, as well as the Amplified Income Plus rider. So quick 30 seconds, 30 seconds feel on personal protection choice. We talked about the customization of the portfolio, designing products that, that don't hit, that don't compete against one another. You saw that with personal income annuity. You see that with NASA growth annuity. Great products from a complementary sales standpoint. But one of the other products inside of our portfolio, the fastest, one of the, the fastest growing products is our personal protection choice. It's a product that much like the portfolio, you can customize based on the risks and concerns that your client has. You can offer income with the income today, income tomorrow rider. We've got that family protection rider, which grows your client's premium at up to 10% simple per year, would pay out in a full lump sum enhanced death benefit to beneficiary. That care rider, which is going to enhance income by up to 250%, if your client were to go into a nursing home and strong growth strategies with a three-year strategy in the S&P 500, 100% par rate, showing over 9% return per year. So you've got the ability to really separate yourself from the competition with the NASA portfolio through your partnership with insurance agency marketing. The opportunity to provide products that have true value based on the concerns that your client has. But on top of those values, one of the other great things with the NASA portfolio is when you submit business with us, it's getting issued. You can see based on from, from my operation team, suitability to decline rate sits at less than 2% per month. Cash with app turned around in 48 hours. If you submit an app with us by 4 p.m., it's getting into the system so you can track it immediately online that same day. But most importantly to you, in a period of time when we've seen a lot of products being pulled off the marketplace, we're seeing decreasing caps, decreasing rates. In 2019, NASA has not had a decrease in comp or a decrease in rates on our entire index portfolio. We are committed to growth. We are committed to giving you products with value and committed to our partnership with insurance agency marketing. And because of your partnership with insurance agency marketing, the other great thing that you'll start to qualify for is what we're, we rolled out earlier this year, our elite advisor program. For only 1.5 million, in FIA production for calendar year 2019, you're going to qualify for two benefits. The first benefit is enhanced compensation. First quarter of 2020, if you achieve that minimum of a million and a half in FIA sales, we're going to pay you a 50 basis point bonus on your entire sales, your entire index sales for that year. 
So think about that. You do $2 million in the Nassau growth annuity in 2019. 2020, first quarter 2020, we're going to pay you a 50 basis point bonus on that entire $2 million in, $2 million in business. Now, if you were to do that for a second consecutive year, so meet that qualifying premium of a million and a half in FIA sales, we're going to increase that bonus 25 basis points and give you a 75% bonus on your entire block of FIA sales for that year for hitting that for two consecutive years. Again, a way for us to thank you for your loyalty, to thank you for talking about the benefits of the Nassau portfolio and your partnership with insurance agency marketing. On top of the trips that they offer, you would also qualify for that million and a half in production. You would qualify for our elite advisor trip, which is going to be at the Ball Har the St. Regis Ball Harbor Resort, Miami Beach in April of 2020. So a million and a half gets you additional compensation, plus qualifies you for a great trip where we can thank you for your business, thank you for your partnership, and spend some time enjoying the company of other top producers. So with that, again, what you're hopefully seeing is the customized ability of the Nassau portfolio. And with that, again, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to be on the call today. I want to kick it back to Marcus. I know we've, we've taken a little extra time here, but extremely, extremely excited about this partnership, extremely excited about the products that we have to bring to the field, and really excited to work hard, roll up our sleeves, and earn your business, and build up a strong partnership going forward. So, Marcus, I'll kick it back to you so we can wrap things up here for the, uh, for the afternoon. I appreciate that, Jake. I got a couple of questions here on uh, financials and uh, ratings of your company. Do you want to cover that real quick? I would love to. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for going back. I again, in, in respect of time, I sort of ran through that. But let's talk a little bit about NASA. I'll give you a, sort of a thirty-second elevator speech. As you see on the screen in front of you, NASA is a company formerly Phoenix. We've been around for almost one hundred and seventy years in business since eighteen fifty-one. We insured Abraham Lincoln, something that gets a lot of play with, with our producers who are out there marketing the product. It's something that they talk about. It's something that, that translates to clients and they like to see. But what you see in, in 2016, Phoenix was bought by a company called Nassau Life and Annuity, Nassau Re. And we've gone through a, a pretty substantial transformation since that 2016, 2016 acquisition, operationally, financially product-wise, NASA has put a lot of money in to ensure that when you make a recommendation of these products, you've got some of the best benefits and guarantees, and you've got a platform that you know those benefits are going to be there at the time of your client's needs. And the great thing was back in May of this year, uh, we were actually upgraded with AM Best, one of two insurance companies that I'm aware of over the last two, three years that received an increase from AM Best. And so what they're saying is with the strength of the financials, you can see a solvency ratio of 105. 22 billion in, in combined assets, over almost 500,000 policies in force. And with their direction and guidance of Nassau, we're, you're seeing that third party affirmation. We got that rating increase with AM Best in May of this past year, of May of 2019. And we anticipate, based on our conversations and, and continual growth and investment back into the company, you'll continue to see over the next two, three years more improvements from a rating standpoint. Appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and open up a, uh, a poll here. Whoever would like uh, some additional information on uh, NASA RE, go ahead and uh, fill out that poll if you would. Uh, if you have any uh, questions for Jake or myself, please go ahead and fill it out in the question box below. Uh, Jake, I do uh, appreciate uh, your time this morning. Um, you want to cover just the rating of the company for S&P and uh, uh, the the uh, rating agencies this morning. Yeah, yeah, sure. As, as I mentioned, back in um, uh, back in May of this year, we were increased uh, to a B plus with AM Best. Uh, we actually will be launching a Fitch rating here. Uh, Fitch has come in and, and they wanted to rate us as as a company. Um, so we'll be launching that here, I believe, in the next week or so. Um, so to have companies rating agencies come in and, and they're looking to rate you. Um, you know, we're building that partnership as well. Uh, as I mentioned, really, it speaks to the volume of what NASA has done. They've invested back into the company. If you looked at the company back in 2015, we did about a billion, almost a billion and a half in sales. In 2017, as a company, we did about 250 million in sales. And that was by design. Because much like you, for all of you on the call today, the reason that you're probably successful is because you're investing back into your business. You're putting some, some of your commissions earned. You're putting marketing dollars out there 
to invest back into your company to attract new clients, to make sure that you're in business for the long haul. And I will say in the past, under Phoenix, we, we got a, a little bit away from that and, and really were focused on being the largest company in the industry. But again, when what we did when we went from a billion and a half in sales down to about 250 million, we start investing back into the company, putting capital back into the company. And you see that again, solvency ratio sits at 105. Our risk-based capital sits at over 450%. What that means is on, a, on the most basic level, excuse me, rating agencies, want, states want you to be at 125%. If you fall below that level, they're going to come in and do a, a solvency review of the company. We're three to four times above where they expect you to be. And again, all that is because the company has been investing back in itself with our leadership under NASA. And that's what we saw with the rating increase with AM Best, with Fitch wanting to come in and give a rating, is we're seeing that being recognized of everything that we're doing. Now, for those of you who haven't sold, if you're not familiar selling a, you know, a, a B plus, B double plus company, again, they're still very good on, on, the, on the rating scale. It's a strong financial rating. And as we all know, a and best isn't going to take you from, from a B all the way up to an A overnight. It's a, it's a step-by-step -step process. And to me, again, the third-party affirmation that we got is in a period of time where very few, if any, insurance companies have had a rating increase, we're starting to see improvements. We're seeing better, uh, better ratings from the rating agencies with our Nassau ownership, with the products that we're bringing to the field, because that is the other side of things, is they want to see you grow. They want to see you build sales as well. And that's what you're seeing with the introduction of all the products that we're bringing to the marketplace and new partnerships like IMS as well. So hopefully that addresses sort of what you were, what you were looking at, Marcus. Yep, it does. Um, I don't show any other questions down there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out the uh, poll. So if you have not uh, voted, uh, please go ahead and uh, wrap that up. But I do appreciate your time this morning, Jake. Uh, where uh, I do have an, one other question that dropped in here. Where, where's, where's your uh, home office, or where are you guys based out of? Yep. So home office is based out of uh, actually Hartford, Connecticut, um, and then we also have a, a an operation service branch that's in in upstate New York, so around the Albany area of New York. Um, one of the one of the questions. I, I don't know if this is where the question was going. Uh, but but NASA, obviously, we as we went through a rebrand from Phoenix, uh, the company name changed from Phoenix Life over to NASA Life. Uh, the gentleman who, who two gentlemen who run the company grew up in Nassau County in New York, and so they wanted to sort of pay homage to to where they grew up. And so the NASA name actually comes from Nassau County in New York, uh, and that's sort of the brand that you're seeing the NASA Life and Annuity and where we're following. So again, domiciled Hartford, Connecticut, upstate New York is is where we're based out of. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not showing any other uh, questions down there in the corner. So, uh, again, I appreciate everyone taking some time. Like I said, if you got pulled away, I, I do have this recorded. I do appreciate your time this morning, Jake. I will be uh, following up with uh, each and every one uh, in the webinar this morning. Uh, so, again, Jake, thank you, and uh, uh, have a good day.